Welcome everyone to the, I guess the comeback show is what we'll call it, of Talk Wrestling. First time on ODQ.com, flying solo in a long time. We're here with, as always, everybody's favorite wrestler and a new proponent, I guess, of Tweet Secret, okay. Rob Van Dam. And uh, first question for you is, what exactly is Tweet Secret? How'd you get involved? Uh, Tweet Secret is a uh, phone app, and uh, it's my fan club. So I have followers that join TweetSecret.com slash Rob Van Dam because a lot of different celebrities. Yes. T Boz, um, T Bag, what's your name? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, they have like uh, musicians and uh, a lot of, rest, lot of wrestlers. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, y- you follow us exclusively, you get exclusive footage, and it's like uh, shoot like uh, several videos a week and. Um, the short videos. It's just like I've always done with RVD TV. Even RVD Radio was always about um, capturing real life outside of the ring. And with Tweet Secret, it's awesome because I am everything. I'm the camera guy, but also I'm the editor, which I really enjoy doing. Uh, the yeah. producer, uh, I post it with the phone app, everything right there. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's something uh, that raises some money uh for uh make a wish foundation you know um that's one of the incentives you know for some of the fans to get behind it um it's something where if you if you're into that you really i think get a lot for for your money it's like two dollars 99 cents a month i got into it because chris jericho told me about it and the tweet seeker guys are really cool they're growing i saw them in the last few months go from being available only on an iphone to then being available on all smartphones to now the desktop as well you don't even have to have a phone and uh they just keep growing and growing and uh glad to be part of it and i have a lot of fun with it it's like an ongoing documentary if you watch all the videos because all the archives are still available yes they are i've seen them yeah so you join and you get to see uh the videos i've been shooting way back since april when i first started uh doing this when i was on the road and there's a story to be told because you see me when i'm in a great mood sometimes you see other wrestlers you know and i'll be like hey what's up Paige?" The beautiful, lovely page. It yes. could be anybody. You know, Dolph Ziggler, Big Show's been on there. Uh, but you also see me when I'm really, really angry, still in gear, because I don't even want to stop to get take a shower and get dressed. And I'm just like, let's get out of here. And you see me storming <laughs> towards my car. So just it's pretty done cool. with the day. Want to get home to home to California. You, it, it catches catches all, because it's something, you know, that's like real life, unscripted. And it's uh, um, it's my life. It is. It's awesome. It's awesome. It is awesome. I got a very exciting life. And I like to put a lot into making these videos. Like I said, I have fun with editing. So they were 90 seconds. The Tweet Secret people just added a minute to that just in just oh, the nice. last few days here. Um, but they're, they're short, so they don't take up a lot of your attention span. But within that, um, I rarely would have like a full like straight 90 seconds of me talking like this. I like to chop it up. I like to have like 20 different scenes yeah. that I have edited in there. Uh, when I do my web shows on Wednesdays at Be Real Studios, I go around. I got all of his uh, golden albums, all his plaques. I saw that. Yeah. So, yeah, that I have, was cool. I have yeah. a lot of fun like telling the whole story and with the Ultimate Warrior or any anybody that inspired me when I was young. Go to YouTube, you know, and I'll just shoot the shoot something, you know, off the monitor to add to add into my right. footage. I love it. I have a lot of fun with it. You mentioned that the tweet secret started when you were still on the road with WWE back in April. I think it was late April is when your first one went up. I watched that one. I've watched a few of them since then. Um, are you are you looking at the tail end of your WWE career now that you've kind of taken a step back? Are you going back again? Are you on a part time contract? What exactly are you with with WWE right now? Um. Myself and uh, Chris Jericho have a uh, kind of the same deal where we come and go with short-term contracts mm-hmm. that are timed around our uh, what works best for us, but also you know in agreement with what works best for them too. So right now, um, I just finished my contract uh, at the end of September. Right. And I'm on off time right now, so when I'm ready to go back, yeah, I most likely will do another run with WWE. But there's no no guarantees, no obligations, really. Just right. just kind of the, uh, the 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 common thought that that will probably happen. I definitely have some unfinished business to take care of. Absolutely. A few people have asked me, you know, you you, you left TNA a short time ago, or actually more than a short time ago now, and went back to WWE. Um, 
was your leaving there indicative of what's going on with TNA now, or were you just kind of like just wanting to be out and wanting to go back home where you belong? Or well, um, I actually didn't didn't even uh, I, I wanted to resign with them. Actually, you know, I did a three year deal with uh, TNA, which uh, I enjoyed. I mean, it was uh, it was. Uh, one of the better deals in my career, which prospectively uh, everyone could be found better than, than the one before, which is cool. With TNA, uh, the schedule was really convenient, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> and the more they grew and the busier they got, then uh, which was good for the company, but then it became a lot more like the WWE. It just so happens uh, the week that I finished up there, I think was the last week they did the TV in the studios. Or uh, or definitely within a, you know that that oh, window over, over the impact zone you mean yeah and then oh, I started okay. going on the road with right. the TVs and I wasn't part of even that more, even it more would have been road, yeah, yeah I would have I would have uh, not enjoyed that personally but you know the comp if the company you know was going in a positive direction then of course it would be selfish for me to be like ah oh, no I don't want I don't want that because you know I, I often tried to help them grow a lot I had a lot of ideas in brand extension and things like that that I talked with Mike Weber about and both of our ideas often got shut down we felt like somebody didn't want to see them grow someone inside but right. you know besides all that when my three-year deal was up I actually uh, was going to Resign with them, mm -hmm. and we actually uh, talked out uh, a deal that would be a contract, all the terms except for a starting date. Mm -hmm. And uh, then at that point, they dragged their feet, you know, and then mm -hmm. I couldn't get, the, you know, I was like, hey, what's going yeah. on? You know, uh, I'm sitting here at home, you know, and um, and then I, after just you know just enough of them dragging their feet for me to be insulted. And feel like, well, fuck them. I went to uh, the Hall of Fame to watch my boy Booker T get inducted into the Hall yes, of Fame. Yes, that was cool. Rumors come out, as I knew they would. Next thing you know, I'm I'm uh, looking to go back to WWE. Yeah, it was a very short transition this time. It wasn't like you were off from WWE for three years before you signed with TNA. It was like right away you were back in the company, no problem. Yeah, and I was, and and you know, all the promotions that they put into me uh, coming back. You know that was that was awesome. Uh, I hadn't, I couldn't have known when we first made the deal that they were going to put those promotions. You know, making me look like you know the what I was. You know, I mean, exactly. actually utilizing, capitalizing, yeah. and telling the world and telling me that they expect to see the same RVD that they had back in 2006, which was awesome for me because I knew that I was still the same RVD. And sometimes in TNA, I had a hard time showing it. Yeah, I mean, the first match they put you in was a Money in the Bank match, which, you know, you've won before, so it was, it was cool. It was ideal to see you back in that environment, ladder match. You can do pretty much anything you freaking want and just showcase your talents. Those are among uh, my favorite matches to be in uh, last year and then also 2014 and this year. Yes. Um, enjoyed being in it uh, as well, yeah, because, uh, you know, everything, everything there is about being restricted and held back and having so many... Uh, parameters to work with and, and that makes the agenda so much different than it used to be way back in the day for me like say for instance when I was in ECW a lot of fans prefer that RVD they're like oh dude how come you don't do this you don't do the Terminator anymore well I First off, chairs are illegal. Yeah, Second off, anymore. you don't fit it in a five-minute match when that includes my entrance and your entrance and a, a minute something for the app and a promo on your way down. And it's just everything about uh, being there is different, you know. Yeah. So I'm just I'm pleased that I was able to adapt enough to continue my career uh, as long as I have. Am I looking at uh, the end of the WWE days? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't have anything planned at this time. I would assume I'm uh, much closer to that end than to the other end of my career. <laughs> For sure. Last time I was there, uh, there wasn't as much planning put put into my time there. And moving I forward, we, nobody yeah. wants that to happen moving forward. So we're aware. And uh, theoretically, you know, if I was uh, going to go back, it would be hopefully with some pretty solid plans of how to utilize me and uh, be more like the run last year, which was uh, – but both times – 
Of course, I had awesome matches. Nothing but Cesaro's the best up there. I was gonna say you. I, I was at SummerSlam this year. You had a great match with Cesaro on the, on the kickoff show. Should have been on the should have been on the show, but you know what, what? What do we know, right? So, but yeah, it was a great match at the kickoff. I texted you right after. Said it was great seeing you on the show again. It's great seeing you back in the in the E. I, you know, I just I, I hope they bring you back and utilize you to your talents this time. 